Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Custom. So today I'm sharing with you the Vixens of Wasteland, the Trophy Hunter garage kit that I just finished painting up for someone. Now I did do a uh, kit review on the Basic Bear uh, kit. I'll link that in the description. It was sculpted by Sean Kyle of Sean Kyle Studios. I think it's pretty much his own creation. It sort of reminds me of like Tank Girl, but it's kind of his own like little twist on it. It's a really great sculpt. I enjoyed painting it up. It's got a really great design. She's like 1-6 scale. Uh, it's a lot of detail on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, putting her together was actually fairly easy. There wasn't really much issues with it. Uh, I did do a lot of parts where I magnetized stuff. So, you know, this arm over here, this arm here, and this leg is actually magnetized. But there is a peg to go in and out of the base. Uh, but uh, other than that... It was just a matter of painting up all the pieces and attaching it all. So it worked out really well. Now, when the client sent it to me, I said, you know, we'll really hash out the paint stuff once I get the kit together because I really like the work where I'll focus on the custom work or putting the kit together. And then when we're ready to start the paint, then I can think about the paint because I like to really make sure that everything is ready for paint and then hash it out later. So, uh, you know, we pretty much talked about it when it was ready to go. And I said, you know, what are you looking to do? Uh, what kind of, like, style do you want to do? And what they did is they sent me this really cool picture of, like, that 80s uh, background stuff where it's, like, that neon uh, magenta and that neon blue type look. And he says, I would really like the color scheme like that. Now, at first, I was like, uh, how am I going to pull this off? It's kind of really hard to kind of go that route. But then after I started working on it, we also did like sort of like a Photoshop too of like, you know, the basic figure. Uh, it really started to work out really well and I really, really like the idea now because it's something different. I really never did anything like this. And it's a really cool idea to take that old 80s look of that neon colors and actually make the whole palette that for your sculpt, except for like the skin tone. Uh, but it worked out really cool. I really enjoyed it. So you can see... You know, we have a lot of that magenta within the hair, the eyebrows, the lips, uh, sort of like the gun areas and the eyes and uh, the mask goggles. And then everything else is kind of like that neon uh, blue uh, color scheme. You know, for her weapons and the mask and all that, I pretty much try to keep that like a blue metallic just to kind of go with this color scheme. And then like for her regular armor, we kind of just kept it like that gray silver just to kind of run with it because I really didn't want to go away from that palette much. I really wanted to stick to it as much as I could. Uh, and uh, once we pretty much got the figure done and he liked where I was going with it and we added all those colors, it was coming up with the idea for the uh, monster head. Now, I did do a live stream of that. I'll kind of link that in the description as well. So the idea was to take all those colors for the figure and incorporate it into the uh, monster head. So I really didn't want to go like two bright whites because the idea is... I want to focus on the monster head, but I really want that white outfit and that magenta hair to pull you up to her face area. So I really try not to go too, too white and too light on the teeth and the horns because even though you could kind of like, you know, look in this area, your eyes kind of go back up here to her more. So that's kind of like the whole goal of the paint up. But it was a really good, fun color scheme. I really enjoyed it. I like the idea that, you know, somebody's like, they like this uh, sculpt and they want to paint it up, but they wanted to paint up with like a different type of a palette than something normally what I would have done or what Sean Kyle did for his on his uh, DeviantArt page. So it was kind of interesting and I really enjoyed it. Um, so it just goes to show you guys out there, if you like a certain color palette and you really just want to have some fun with like a kit, whether it's something like, you know, this type of a trophy hunter type kit or whether it's a superhero or whatever, you could kind of just run with it and have some fun with different colors and just try different things. And this was a lot of fun. I really give a lot of credit to the client who actually said, hey, you know, I really want to paint up this item in this color scheme. And it was a great choice. I really think that was a really great choice and it really stands out. Um, so, I mean, uh, it was pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, garage kit flesh tones for all the skin. Arts for fine transfer details for the eyes. The magenta is uh, basically Vallejo Mecca of uh, uh, colors, which I think is the magenta something. I forgot what it was called. Uh, the blue is actually Citadel blue. It's kind of like a neon type of a blue. So I ran with that uh, for just the, those are my two main colors for the item. So that was straightforward with that. Uh, the outfit is pretty much just a white outfit, just uh, wicked colors of uh, white from Createx. The Metallic blue for like the mask and gun, 
that is pretty much, uh, I think it's blue, um, uh, was it blue metallic? Maybe just metallic blue from Tamiya. I think that's all it was. Uh, the magenta eyes, though, for the eyes for the mask, for the up around the gun, and then also the eye on the monster, that is a uh, Createx Pearlized Magenta, I think it is. Uh, it's, it's really kind of made it pop a little bit more because I really wasn't going to be able to get any kind of a pearlized color with the Mecha uh, colors from uh, Vallejo. I really had to kind of just come up with something else on that. Uh, so you can see on the gun though, if we get a little bit closer, uh, what I did is I used a lot of, uh, you know, brush, uh, dry brushing on there to keep it worn. Like if you look at the top, you know, there's a little bit of rust in there, but not much. So I added like, you know, some black, some uh, grays. Uh, try to keep it as much as I possibly could to like, you know, sort of kind of keeping in this line with the artwork, but also trying to make it metallic as well. So, you know, and then uh, all the pearlized colors in there. Now for her armor, as you can see, I wanted to keep it like a grayish armor. I didn't want to keep it, uh, I didn't want to go everything blue metallic. I wanted to like just, do, you know, keep things a little bit different. So that's kind of like, uh, it's a Vallejo uh, dark steel dry brush, some uh, Tamiya uh, titanium, oh uh, no, uh, just chrome silver, and then I did some washing of a little bit of uh, bronze in there, just to kind of give it a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a wash of rust, but not too crazy. And uh, other than that, it's pretty much straightforward. So the blues are just kind of wrapped around, as you can see. The horns, teeth, and the spikes on her legs, uh, that's all a white mixed with some of the blue and some of the magenta, and just did a, give it that neon look to it, you know. And then you can see in here with the face, we kind of ran uh, with some dry brushing of the blue over uh, some of that magenta color in there uh, because he is missing the eye. The mouth, I really wanted to go like with that whole front of the face, kind of like a dark black, because I really wanted to capture that artwork too from what he sent me. We got to have some kind of a black in there and stuff. So that's kind of where I went with that. But the nose, I did a lot of like uh, heavy of magenta over the nose so you can make it pop a little bit more. And then you can see over here how the eye really kind of pops out of them. So that's kind of what I went with. Uh, the horns and helmet are attached because uh, that was just the best way to do it. I just trying to make everything magnetized probably would have just kind of flopped and fall all over the place. Uh, but I mean, that's it. That's straightforward. Uh, the Vixen's uh, Wasteland uh, kid to Trophy Hunter. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. A uh, really big, uh, you know, credit to the uh, client who really wanted to go with this color scheme. It really opens up a lot of ideas for me, some future stuff. If I want to go with this type of a palette to really try it on some different things here and there. But there you go. That is the Vixen's of Wasteland kid Trophy Hunter. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more videos. Yeah. <laughs>